coat made with chinchilla trim. I'm breaking it in for fall winter. Are you kidding me? It is criminal to wear fur. To make that single coat, over 175 minks were anally electrocuted. That's torture. No, that's fashion. Well, my, my, looks like Mommy packed your lunch today. You animal rights activists sure have yummy diets. Excuse me. What the hell's going on back there? Mary Cherry's burner just flared. Her eyebrows are gone. Awesome. Oh, my God! Am I blind? Why is everything so white? Because you're staring at my lab coat. You're fine, Cherry. Just slightly singed. All right, people, back to work. Show's over. Awesome. Mary Cherry. <sighs> My sister May and I have scheduled meet and greets with all the homecoming queen nominees. Hey. Oh, yeah. We're going to make those popular bitches kowtow. Come on, move it. Oh. But your daughter's holding on line one. Hey, darling. This better not be another call from the hothouse telling me you got caught for shoplifting again, because Mama here has lost her patience. Mama! I made it. I got nominated for homecoming queen. Well, hot diggity, baby girl. Finally, you wanted something. You know, your Mama here. I was Miss Texas, Miss America runner-up. You think you got what it takes to keep the family tradition alive? You certainly have a huge enough head to balance that Sierra arm. Mama, I want that crown, and I'll do anything to get it. Anything. That's my girl. You're not the only one who's pleasantly surprised, Fafita. I just figured most people would be consumed with jealousy over my stunning, exotic good looks and throw their support to plainer girls like you. Mary Cherry, what are you doing? Practicing my queenly wave and a gown from the Bob Mackie collection to get little people something to dream about. Okay, whatever, wannabe. You're marching your butt down to Principal Hall's office right now and withdrawing from this race. That's not gonna happen, pretty. I'm Cherry Cherry, Mary Cherry's mama, and you're in trouble. Mary Cherry, what is your mother doing here? My daughter's running for queen. We got a team out in the hallway throwing up a little inspiration. Oh, that's nice. Tossing a little straw down on the linoleum will really add a nice country gal touch. Mm -hmm. You know, honey, I've been facing down bottle blonde, pigeon chested naysayers like you my whole life, and I always win. Beauty and cold hard cash always vanquishes that evil demon jealousy. My little friend Brooke is as sweet and thin as saltwater taffy, but she's not the only peacock in the pen. It's a futile cause, Mrs. Cherry. My best friend Brooke McQueen's gonna win this race. Some things can't be bought. Think again, sugar. Come along, Mary Cherry. Bye, Nick. Hope you and Saltwater Taffy win. You deserve to win. So, why should we vote for you? Well, you probably shouldn't, because my daughter here has treated you like freaks, which you are. Mary Cherry. So, to make amends, here's a hundred dollars a piece. A size 10, Mary Cherry! Damn, she does look as big as a house, don't she? gentlemen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay okay love you too girl now lay off that fried chicken okay bye-bye sorry i didn't win homecoming queen to make you proud mama well those are the breaks sugar booger they always give it to a pretty girl you know mary cherry i lost my first pageant too mama how could that be the judges were nuts is the only way i can explain it anyway guess what i did when i lost that crown Shot him, Mama. I went out and I bought myself this. I said to myself, Cherry, Cherry, Cherry. 
practice holding your head up high, not tripping, girl, because that's the attitude you need to win at life. Mama, you brought your crown here just for me? Yeah, I figured you'd be a loser. <laughs> Mama. Fairy Cherry, what are you doing here? I am the spirit of Christmas present. Is your heart still unmoved by what you say to Mel? Look, I've tried getting help, okay, but I'm always smarter than the therapist they send me to. Why don't you just leave me alone to deal with mental health and Christmas in my own way? We should not live Christmas only one day, but rather celebrate it in spirit all the days of the year. Now, you've chosen not to celebrate Christmas in your cold, steely heart. Therefore, you're going to come with me to the Christmas about to be and witness it in the hearts of teens of goodwill. Now, the magical star of Bethlehem facsimile, Purchase It Murphy, will guide us with its shining light. See, now I know I'm dreaming. No, it's not a dream, evil bitter gal. See, it's the season. Also, hun, you may want to switch from that cookie to a celery stick before we move on to our next riveting Christmas tableau, because if your hiney gets any bigger, I'm afraid we won't be able to fly. Yo. Why have you brought me here? There's only one thing left to see. Beware, for it is truly terrifying. Look here, mortal woman. Look down and be afraid. Whose are they, spirit? Are they yours? They are man's. They cling to me as popularity outcasts. The girl is fear. The dirt eater is ignorance. Beware them both. But most of all, beware the unpopular dirt eater. For on her brow, I see written your fate. about it, darling. I mean, these things are random. I took the very same test, and my career matchup said, Mary Cherry, the career that's best suited for you is serial killer. I mean, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Did you bring the money? Stealer? Shut up! Now go look straight ahead and act like you're checking out one of those gross little blackheads you are. Just do it. <laughs> Good. Now give me the money. I need to see the goods first, Cherry. I want to see those byproducts of fame. Before magic hour lighting, so hurry up. Okay, hen, just one more tuna insult for the road. Okay. <laughs> My butt's prettier than you. Okay, see you in a second, hen. Bye. <gasps> All right, Miss Cherry. The obstacle course. Show me what you've got. making myself sob and wail. Once, at my Uncle Roy's funeral, it took three cousins and an organist to carry me out. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Miss Cherry, are you finished taking the oath? Yes, I am, Your Highness. Oh! Hey there! Looking sharp! Is that a new haircut? Miss Cherry, sit down. Can you tell the jury, please, how you know the plaintiff? Absolutely. Emery and I are lab partners in biology. We played doctor together on more than one occasion. <laughs> it's true. Thank you. 
Y'all, later this week, when I lose my last 20 pounds, I'll be skeleton thin for the dance. Then, all I'll need is the perfect, gorgeous, muscly bow. Yeah. Girls, that is it. I am asking my high buttock stone cold to the dance. I know for a fact he's available as Brookie's taking a pass. Whoa, Mary Cherry, I'm sorry. I happen to know that he has a thing for caliente girls, okay? Uh, he's begged me many times to roll my arms for him. He's been on my to-do list for weeks. Yeah, excuse me. Nicole Julian and Stone Cold are like fashion and anorexia. They go together. Thank you. Well, my, my. Looks like we've got a cat fight on our hands. What do you say we have ourselves a little contest? Whoever loses the most weight by Friday gets to go to the dance with Stone Cold, 180 pounds of prime beefcake. You're on. Stone Cold likes some blonde with sure. <gasps> my, my name is Mr. Calorie. A talcum scale? I know this company. It's a diet plan targeted specifically at unhappy teenage girls. I saw it on a talk show called Horrifying Trends. Answered prayers. <gasps> Look. Why, there's an ample and tasty meal here of a celery stick and a bouillon cube and a dime-sized breath mint for dessert. Girls, our contest begins right now. This is our Stone Cold Battle Headquarters. Mr. Callery, the results, please. Your results, heifers, are identical. Damn! We weigh the same gun. It's because we haven't eaten anything in three days. God, I never should have snuck that sip of water last night. I'm such a pig! Well, who gets stone cold if it's a draw? Girls, I have a proposition. I have here in my insanely expensive mink eving bag the strongest laxative the world has ever known. Only the Pentagon and an elephant keeper at the National Zoo know its secret formula. Its street name? Convulse. Is it safe? Not that it matters. Yeah, it's as safe as an H-bomb, but it's effective. Now, we all take equal doses and weigh in at the dance in one hour. Whoever has the most successful diuretic experience wins the Stone Cold Bodhi. Do we agree? Mm hmm Nick, grab your wall out of Laza Doolittle. I feel like I just smoked 75 cigarettes, drank a dozen pots of French roast, and topped it off with jalapeno nachos. I feel like I just gave birth to every internal organ I have. And all of this for what? A hunk of metal and a guy who flunk long division. Girls, maybe, uh... Maybe it's time we end this scale's tyranny over our otherwise happy-go-lucky adolescence. Ow. What the hell is in your purse, Mary Cherry? A sledgehammer? Yes. I carry it in my bag in case I stroll by a car that's more expensive than mine, so I can give little offender a good ding. Mm -hmm. 